show you how I tie my McCarty on. Um, like get this up here where it's uh, level, you know, where it has some slope to it here like that, so it's not tightening up the left side as I doesn't tighten the left and rein when I'm steering to the right. And there's kind of two ways of doing this. When I lived in California, everybody I worked with tied it on like this. I moved to Nevada, and like you're in the sagebrush country, if it hooks on, you're loosening these coils, and by the end of the day, your coils are different sizes. So I got to where I tie it on like this. It has a bind right here, and it, uh, but here's how I would do that. This is Bill Dorrance again showed me this when I was about 15 years old, but I take, have this with the right side, take a dally, and then tie a knot like that on there. When it's tight, pull down on that, got a slip knot, and then to keep it snug, take this same part and put a half hitch over the top. And then when you're when you want to get it undone, you just pull this and everything comes undone. If I was be working cattle in an alleyway, it, where they're in close quarters, it would not be a good deal if a cow stuck her head in my lead rope. Like she's probably, or if I was in super brush country, like I've been in Texas and I figured out why they all use split reins there because everything's got thorns and branches and you're plowing through some really rough trees and that kind of stuff, then I, would, I wouldn't tie it on.